today is me and Brian's three year wedding anniversary. <laughs> right now we're on our way to have some corkies, some breakfast, and my mom's actually here in the back. We're celebrating with her. <laughs> we're celebrating with her. <laughs> These friends, I'm celebrating contigo soon. But um, I think we're gonna go out to eat later on. But we're just gonna go have breakfast right now, and yeah, we're hungry. It's funny because it's actually already 12. Um, but you know, I'll be having breakfast. I don't late. work that way. When I wake up, that's morning to me. It could be two, but it'd be morning. <laughs> and then it's their breakfast. Yeah, we woke up like at 11. Up and um, yeah, we're on our way to get breakfast. And at the same time, we're still obviously in quarantine or this whole pandemic thing. So yeah, we're not doing anything like super crazy. Yeah, this is the first obviously anniversary with this pandemic. So yeah. we, I don't even know if we are going to stay home. If we're not, Brian actually got tested yesterday and it's funny because we were actually both in line obviously to get tested and I saw it was the nostril one and I freaked out, I panicked. So Brian was the only one that took it. I feel like, I don't know if people are going to cover me for that, but I just couldn't do it you guys. I panicked, but you know, we wanted to take the test because Brian's birthday party, um, you guys probably already saw by now, Brian's birthday party was extremely intimate, little to no people, but um we just want to make sure that you know everything is fine you know but yeah okay guys so we already got here i got french toast with eggs and bacon my mom got oh pancake mm -hmm. and then what you got i got the cinnamon swirl uh french toast mm -hmm. do you need ketchup hot sauce salt or pepper can i actually get um orange an juice. orange juice, <laughs> orange juice? <laughs> and then ketchup as well all right so pretty much pretty much this thing's dangling from the camera but we just got back home we obviously ate but Myra from our wedding day our photographer okay. Excuse me. our photographer gave us like an SD card of all the photos that he took but she's actually going through that SD card and looking for something nice to pose so yeah but I am exhausted I don't know why I think I'm exhausted because I kept on trying to sleep and I would wake up because my neck is like cramped up and it just sucks. But Myra's here going through the SD I'm going card. through the pictures. It's funny because I, till this day, cringe at the fact that I didn't touch up my lips for my wedding. You know, like little things like that. I'm like, why didn't I touch up my lips? Like little things like that. I'm like, girl. But I mean, right now that I, like, there's some pictures that I have lipstick and I'm like, okay, that's good. But I remember for the rest of the night, I didn't hire anybody to touch up my lips or anything because I was the one that did my makeup. And I also didn't touch up my lips because you're kind of like all over the place. I feel like for your wedding, if one thing I do recommend is get someone that's going to be touching up your hair and lips. Or, I'm sorry, face. Lips in general. Yeah, like the morning pictures I love. And then like we start getting to like um, where we took the pictures like after church. And then the rest of the night, like, I had no lipstick and I was like a sweaty mess. That day was hot as hell, just like today. And <laughs> that's the one thing I do regret. That in a lot of my pictures, I look like, just sweaty. I just feel like I needed a major touch up. But I'm actually trying to look for a picture because I do want to post some cute wedding pictures. We are just here in the bed. I have not yet gotten ready, you guys. We are really debating if we even want to go out to dinner just because we already went to have breakfast. <laughs> I don't know what's happening you guys part of me just wants to like hang out on the bed have some pizza and not even get ready I don't know if that's something wrong I know Brian doesn't care but a part of me wants to not get ready and just have a little movie night with pizza and enjoy our three year anniversary and part of me just wants to get my ass up get ready and go out to eat but uh, I don't know you guys like we were doing home and have breakfast and obviously we did have like a whole celebration for Brian and his birthday this past Saturday and I feel like right now we're just rejuvenating like you know what I mean like I don't want to drink first of all right absolutely not because we, we literally just drank this past Saturday I don't want to probably like I don't know I could just chill here and chill with you like just because it's our three year doesn't mean we have to go out and i don't know i think honestly this is gonna be our plan we're just gonna maybe order some bomb pizza you know watch some movies i feel like for me like i do like you know going out to eat 
but there's times where I don't want to go out to eat and I feel like today's a day it's a very special day for us obviously three years mm -hmm. ago we got married like that is crazy but um I don't think we're gonna be going out I think we are just going to watch a movie order some pizza let me know what you guys usually do on your guys's anniversaries or actually if someone has had an anniversary within the pandemic, what do you guys do? In the do? pandemic, what do you guys do? And I don't want to come off like, on here. Like our other anniversaries, we obviously go do something, whatever, you know? But like the whole pandemic, it just kind of changes up the story, like, you know? I don't want to like be a hypocrite, you guys, because you guys saw us do the birthday party a few days ago. I also, even though we did have, you know, something like that, I don't want to be freaking going out every single day. But part of me, I'm like, should I get ready though? <laughs> like well how are you gonna get ready to chill in bed and watch movies and eat pizza like i'm literally gonna be like okay like let me just chill in pj kind of thing you know why am i gonna get all suited up to i think korean and roll for the first year or two they obviously celebrated here at the house i think they did and that was when all restaurants were closed mm -hmm. okay guys that's what we're doing today <laughs> So we're already at the restaurant. Hey, Update, we actually here. came to eat. <laughs> I finally decided to do my makeup like really fast though. Yeah. Like hella fast. You know what's crazy? Okay, I'm not sure if I'm the only one, but every time I try to scan these little freaking QR codes, mine doesn't hey, you I almost dropped your water. Mine doesn't work. Like, like this. You know what? Lucille's little bread thingies are way better, but they're still good. Yeah. You know, Lucille's is way better. But they were gonna buy the clothes, so we couldn't go there. It's good, huh? Mm hmm Bomb. What is this, like, Hawaiian bread? I don't know. It's good. Okay, so we just ordered two big ass plates. She even asked if we were sharing and we said no because mm -hmm. we wanted to try two different things. We got baby back ribs with shrimp and sorry lawn or something. I don't know how to say it. They're like together. And then we got this too. Mmm. It's good? Yeah, those are good. Look at that. Like we're almost done with them. Mm -hmm. Ryan just got part of his meal. These are chili cheese beans or something. Chili beans. And then yeah. I'm excited for our meal because we got a lot of food. Oh my, god. oh my god, you're gonna get a lot of cheese. I know that's all kind of mix it in but yeah. Mom, this is literally all they brought us. It's actually really good. Okay, so we just got our food, and all I gotta say, everything looks freaking amazing. Yeah, that's look at that. Amazing. This is crazy. But oh my god, I know you guys are looking at this like I want to buy. Look I at mean, this mashed potato, girl. Right? Oh my god. <laughs> Yummy. Mm -hmm. Guys, turn the motherfucking lights off. How many hours is it supposed to last? You know, I'm over here opening that. Probably like a whole night. Oh, guess what's here? Ooh. Drop the light. Monster Man. Turn the light off! Turn it for real. What about this one? Oh my god, like this. Turn that one on. Tina's going off with her pumpkin. Which one is hers? The little one? She's not even helping. <laughs> right? It's like a roll. She's thriving though. Oh, you're pretty. <laughs> That's funny. Let me see, David, your pumpkin. <laughs> Whoa. So skinny. David, the Sharpie of dog girl. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> My dad's pumpkin. Wow. <laughs> She's breaking it in. Look, Tina. And sing it in. Sing it in. Wow. No la puede ver de arriba, creo. Oh, that's iconic. <laughs> she just laughed. Hmm. Tina's already cooking the cook. Cooking. <laughs> cooking. Do you want to do one? I'm down. 
Just like press it over here. We got a bat, pumpkin, bat, like a little skull, ghost, and another pumpkin. That is so cool. <laughs> David, yours is so cute. I feel like I'm gonna do yeah. a pumpkin one. It's a vibe. Or a little ghost moment. Oh, it's a fantasma. Okay, Chubbs is finally up. Good morning, sun sunshine. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Hi. Hi, Hi pretty. Where's your pumpkin, crazy? Is that her pumpkin? We got a little midget face. Where's her hair? Just mouth pumpkin just makes me want to cry. <laughs> Legend status. Good Making your little minion pumpkin. Oh, you need more? <laughs> oh, like I thought he was gonna lick yes, it. I was like, oh, no. they're right here. Mm. Put it right here. Oh, there you go. She likes already Go. go. Ooh. Again. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's so funny. Oh, good job. Like that. Oh my god, you guys should put that like in the front porch. <laughs> and then. Now we All his eyebrows. Yeah. So cute. Oh, like it. No, I have to. I have to make the hole. Hey, Chubby. Now Stop you can it, put it. Right here. <laughs> there you go. Oh, he actually got Good. it. Good. Like. Yeah. Mm. Wow. <laughs> wow. What did you do? What is it? Oh. <laughs> That's his language for minions. What is it, Mama? <laughs> Good job, that came out beautiful. Hey. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It was a great anniversary. I mean, honestly, like, we didn't, It was. I mean, it was nice, like it was an anniversary, but we didn't really do like anything crazy. Honestly, like, saw. Yeah. like how we were even, we we're, it's fun because we're kind of talking about this with uh, Ro and Karina because they had an anniversary too during quarantine. And it was just like, yeah, you really can't do much because of quarantine or the pandemic kind of thing, you know? The pumpkins actually did not last. Like, they literally lasted, like, a few days. They went bad really quickly. There is, like, little hacks on TikTok where people, you know, do little mm -hmm. different things. Like, I've seen, like, hairspray or something like that. Like, things that, I don't know if it was hairspray, just things that, like, bugs don't what like. What I know, if the inside, if you carve it, like, completely, like, like you know, like, there's, like, the hair kind of inside. Like there's the seed and then that little like vein hair stuff. Like if you carve all of that completely where the pumpkin's like kind of like flat, mm -hmm. it lasts longer because none of that rottens up and gets the rest of the pumpkin rotten. Obviously it's gonna rotten no matter what, but the faster that rottens, gets the whole pumpkin rotten, so mm -hmm. yeah. You guys, but these we didn't do couches right here, they've been here for a hot minute here just in the office <laughs> chilling, so ignore that. We're trying to figure out like what to do with them for now. Um, cause Karina bought new couches, so these are the old set that I had got from Z Gallery. I don't know if we want to like sell them or save them, I don't know, we'll see. So they're just here for now, we're trying to figure out a spot. But, hey okay, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog moment. Mm -hmm. And I hope you guys have a great Halloween, I don't know when, we'll see you guys next time, but peace out. Deuces. Bye.